YouTube, what's good? See you later gaming here, bringing you a brand new episode of Top 5. In this video, we're going to be going through the top 5 games made by Australian developers in preparation for Australia Day. These games were chosen due to their cultural impact and overall acclaim. To start us off at number 5, Untitled Goose Game. Made by the developer House House in Melbourne, the game grew a cult following in 2019 from both critics and audiences alike due to its unique gameplay and humour style. The game also became an internet meme, with video clips from the game being shared far and wide on social media. In the game, players control a goose who bothers the inhabitants of a sleepy English village. The player must use the goose's abilities to manipulate objects and non-player characters in order to complete specific objectives and make progress through the game. The game was initially released for Windows, Mac, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Not bad for a game that got its initial concept from a stock photo. Coming in at number 4, quite possibly the most popular one on this list, Fruit Ninja. Developed by Brisbane-based studio Halfbrick Games, the game became a staple for mobile phones not only across Australia, but globally. The game was well received by critics and helped kickstart the company's growth from licensed game titles to rock stars of the mobile gaming world, developing other well-known titles such as Jetpack Joyride and Fish Out of Water. In the mobile adaptation of the game, fruit is flung across the screen. The player must swipe their finger across the screen to create a slicing motion, attempting to slice the fruit in half. With multiple game modes, console, and arcade versions, it's turned into quite a successful business venture. As of 2015, Fruit Ninja had been downloaded over a billion times, and in 2017, Halfbrick Studios was inducted into the Queensland Business Leaders Hall of Fame. No doubt someone's mum is sitting in a corner of a room smiling with joy, knowing that their fruit salad became a multi-million dollar gaming title. Coming in at number 3, Screen Cheat. Developed by Melbourne-based studio Samurai Punk, this is a multiplayer first-person shooter video game in which every player's character model is invisible. However, the viewpoints of all other players are shown on screen, encouraging players to use this feature and dare I say, screen cheat, to deduce their opponent's location. The maps are brightly coloured in order to make it easier to figure out where each player is. Birthed from the 2014 Global Game Jam, it received several awards and honourable mentions and took the YouTube gaming community by storm. Close But No Cigar, coming in at number 2, Crossy Road. Developed by Melbourne-based developers Hipster Whale, this mobile-based time killer rose to prominence after its release in late 2014. The concept is similar to that of the 1981 arcade game, Frogger. The player must use their chosen character and tap to either go forward or horizontally to cross an endless series of obstacles in a set path, such as rivers, cars, and trains, and make it as far as possible without dying. The concept is similar to that of the 1981 arcade game, Frogger. The player must use their chosen character and tap to either go forward or horizontally to cross an endless series of obstacles in a set path, such as rivers, cars, and trains, and make it as far as possible without dying. Before we get to the number one spot, here are some honourable mentions. Borderlands the pre-sequel, 2K Australia. To Blob, Blue Tongue Entertainment. Hi, the Tasmanian Tiger, Chrome Studios. Coming in at number 1, LA Noir. Developed by Team Bondi and published by Rockstar Games initially for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in May of 2011 to both commercial and critical success. It's set in 1947 Los Angeles and follows a LAPD officer who solves a range of cases across five divisions. Players must investigate crime scenes for clues, follow up leads, and interrogate suspects. The player's success at these activities will impact how much of each case's story is revealed. Despite the positive reception for the game, Team Bondi faced several allegations of poor working conditions by several former employees, causing severe controversy for the studio and leading Rockstar Games to part ways with Team Bondi following LA Noire's release. As a result of this, the developer saw itself unable to sign a new publishing deal for a game and eventually closing its doors a few months after the game's release. A sad end for a brilliant game. Do you agree with this list? Let me know which Australian made game is your favourite in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. 
until next time, I'll see you later. Tap the bell icon after subscribing and you'll never miss a video again. And consider checking out my Facebook page as well for daily gaming updates and news. Thanks guys. YouTube, what's good? See you later gaming here, bringing you a brand new episode of Top 5. In this video, while we're all at home in isolation, I'm going to run through the top 5 online games to play with your friends during the coronavirus lockdown. So let's get started.